We know Bitcoin is the best long-term store of value. Ethereum is the largest decentralized virtual computer. And there are literally thousands of other cryptocurrencies. So it is fair to ask, what is the utility of seasonal tokens? Right. Bitcoin was designed as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, but people are buying Bitcoin as an investment, because of its potential as a long-term store of value. It has been an extremely good long-term investment, in the sense that its average price has been steadily rising over time. But in the short term, it is a high-risk investment, even for the more experienced traders. Seasonal Tokens system was designed as an investment instrument that can increase its long-term value, even during bear markets. Now, this sounds too good to be true, so let me give you a concrete example. If you stick to the rule of trading the expensive tokens for a larger number of cheaper tokens, the total number of tokens you have will always increase. The claim is that this strategy increases the long-term value of your investment. Because, the relative prices have been engineered to oscillate around each other over time. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let me show you how it works with a real-world example, using the token's price history. Someone who held one summer token before June, would have gotten, on average, about 1.2 spring tokens for it at the time. On the 5th of June, the spring cost of production doubled, putting upward pressure on spring's price. Four months later, spring has become the most expensive of the four tokens. A spring token is worth 1.5 summer tokens today. If you had 1.2 spring tokens, you could trade them for 1.8 summer tokens. So, before June, a person holding one summer token had two options for the time between then and now. 1. Hold the one summer token. 2. Trade the one summer token for 1.2 spring tokens, and then trade those 1.2 spring tokens for 1.8 summer tokens today. By taking option 2, the investor would make an 80% profit measured in summer tokens, over the course of four and a half months. With other cryptocurrencies, option 2 is not there. Is it useful to have option 2 there? Sure it is. Regardless of the external market conditions and the dollar price of the tokens, having 1.8 summers is better than having just one. And you are not taking risks, trading your expensive tokens for a greater number of cheaper tokens. Because the relative prices will oscillate around each other, and eventually, the cheapest token will become the most expensive. So that's the utility of the tokens, they add an option to your menu of investment decisions. The option to increase the total number of tokens you have. But there is more. In other proof-of-work cryptocurrencies, mining and investing are separate enterprises. When the halving of the mining supply occurs, some miners go out of business, they have to overcome the doubling of the cost of production all by themselves. In seasonal tokens, when the mining supply of the cheapest token is cut in half, mining that token becomes instantly unprofitable. But investors, who know in advance that the cheapest token will rise in price, can invest in the unprofitable token, helping miners to recover the mining profitability of that token. This collaboration among miners and investors emerges spontaneously from the entanglement in time of the four token contracts, and it is a unique feature of the seasonal tokens system. Check out this video to learn more about it. To summarize, the utility of the seasonal tokens system is, it allows you to increase the long-term value of your investment, even during bear markets. It gives you the option to increase the total number of tokens you have without investing more fiat currency. It is a more efficient way of producing cryptocurrencies, allowing investors to make profits by helping the mining economy. To learn more about seasonal tokens design, please look at this video. And don't forget to subscribe.